<laughs> okay. Excellent. So can I just move this camera up just to say hello? Okay, I'm just going to move. Yeah, there we go. Right, this is a HD camera. I really don't like it. Um, it basically shows all my flaws, shows all my wrinkles. I coloured my hair this morning, by the way, guys. So if anybody's on live at the moment, I don't know who's there. Um, but this is my new hair colour at the moment. So it's like a mystic violet. But this camera, really, seriously, I'm so scared of it. But it will show brighter colours, etc. So I'm a little bit early. I just wanted to test the equipment. I just wanted to make sure that everything was OK. Um, so once you come on, it would be really lovely to hear from you to see if we've got it right. So hopefully the quality will be better. I will be able to move the camera a little bit easier and also the the um, recording onto youtube will be clearer so obviously we're trying to make it as easy and as um, clear as possible for you guys to out there to watch us um, especially at these difficult times so what i'm going to be doing in my facebook lives is basically sharing with you lots of techniques sharing with you projects um, sharing with you examples and really it's up to you what you want me to do in terms of content so if you want to see me doing more demos, if you want to see me doing more um, just talking about products, that's really, if you can tell me exactly what you're looking for or think you're looking for, then definitely we can work together and sort that out. Um, so it's really in your hands really, as they say. And so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start showing some examples. Um, I think we've got a few more minutes, so um, I can start and then I can always... Um, go back round in a loop and because I've got so many examples to show you it'd be really nice just to share those with you um, at least to get you an idea and because this is recorded you can then watch it um, back um, and you can then see what you're um, seeing okay so I know we've got a couple of people online already so thank you very much I know I'm a little bit early um, but I just wanted to try this new equipment out please do not look at my wrinkles but you can look at my new hair colour if you like. So, basically, just asking you for your help um, to let us know what you're actually looking for as well. So we can give you some ideas and some tips um, on how to use our products, etc. But really, it would be really lovely if you could actually share with us your views, whether you're enjoying what you're watching or whether you want to see something different or if there's something that you've bought from us and you want me to show you how to use it. So it's really your forum. I'm just here just to try and help out and demo and for you to get your feet maybe into mixed media or whether you're just somebody who just likes to dabble or somebody who's an expert that just likes to watch and learn maybe and from others. Okay then, so I'm going to start showing you some examples. I'm just going to move my camera down slightly. So the first ones I'm going to show you, and some of these you will have seen already, so what I've got here is, let me just put these down, is we've got this beautiful crackled rice paper. So today I'm going to be doing the crackled clock. So you've got this really, really gorgeous crackled, um, this is a coaster. This is where you've just got it plain and the rice paper's just been attached. This is from our SeaWorld collection. This is where we've actually put a stamped image in front of the rice paper. So whatever you put on first on glass is what you will see. Um, again, this is a whole set, set of coasters from the SeaWorld range. So you can just see how beautiful those are. And then we've got the lovely Alice. Um, so we've got these lovely coasters. Now you can do circular coasters, you can do square coasters. We sell all the coasters, so it's not something that you need to go and source if you want the rice paper and the um, coasters they are available okay so those are just a few little examples of some of the um, lovely rice papers and coasters so today what we're going to be doing 
is a clock. Now the clock will vary um, on the rice papers you choose, the techniques you choose, you may want a square clock or a circular clock and then you get the mechanism and the hands. Now we've got a special offer today, we've got a kit uh, which is available um, only at 19 99 to do exactly what I'm going to be doing today. You can message us and choose a different rice paper if you wanted to. So this is done with fine line crackle. So this is a different technique, not one I'm going to show you today, but this is done with a fine line crackle and then the rice paper adhered to it. Now this is done with a technique that we're going to do similar today. Um, glass always reflects, which is uh, always hard to show. Um, so you've got the crackle effect and this is the sort of effect I'm going to go for today, but I'm going to do it slightly different to this in terms of that we're going to use a quite a floral image and we're going to part crackle rather than entirely crackle. Then we've got a square clock, obviously no, I haven't got the mechanisms in all of them. Um, and then you can just see just by adhering some of these beautiful, let me just show you, beautiful rice papers, um, you can create this really nice, beautiful um, clock. So, so those are the those are the clocks that I wanted to show you using rice papers. Um, and I'll be sharing the project with you. Now, I've also used rice papers on plates. So we've done coasters, we've done clocks. We are going to be using this rice paper today on a clock. So I can show you how you can use this differently. So can you see, that is a really large plate, by the way. Oh, gosh. To lie it down, nearly. So you can just see the crackle on that. And this is a similar effect we're going to try and achieve today on the actual clock face. Show you how to do that. Now, you can take these techniques and you can do them basically both for... Uh, the clocks, the coasters, or the plates. We sell all the, the right, the, all the ingredients you need to do this. Now, a lot of people say, is it only glass that you can adhere rice paper to? Well, no, you can adhere rice paper to absolutely nearly everything, as long as you've got the right mediums. So if you've got the decoupage mediums, um, then you can adhere it to the different ones. We've got, so what I wanted to show you here is I've used the rice paper here. I've used it in the background on this canvas. I've created this really quite dramatic 3D um, canvas. So you can just see that. So there we go. So you can just see how the rice paper has been used both in the background and as 3D dimension. Now, the rice paper I used, if anybody's interested on this one, was the um, the A3. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, this is the, the white poinsettia and um, it's just so nice to work with. We've got a red version as well. So they are all on uh, Dali Art Market. You can also adhere to bags. So as long as you've got the fabric medium for fabric, You've got the ceramic medium for ceramic and you've got the matte medium for everything else, then you can do that. So you can just see how that looks. That's really lovely. Now, I've been working and I'll be doing this next week in my um, uh, Facebook Live. I've also been working on a planner. This is the Elizabeth Crafts planners. They are absolutely beautiful. Let me just show you very quickly. Um, we have actually 15% off on all the planners, all the dies and everything. This is the You Make Me Happy pad from obviously Shock Art Sisters. Let me just show you that and we can get closer to you. Look at that. Okay, so I've made this really lovely little envelope here which all opens out. Uh, the planners come in um, the beautiful vintage beach. Uh, we've got the smaller ones as well. We've got the larger lime one in as well. And we've got all the dies that make all of these, these elements. I've only used two dies, actually, two die sets at the moment. I've still got a long, long way to go yet. So you can see this pad really lends itself. Um, this is a You Make Me Happy from the Shock Art Sisters um, pad. And you've got these beautiful, beautiful elements. Make some notes or add some pictures and so forth. So I'm going to continue with that. Next week, I'm going to be working on 
on the pad to show you. Now I also wanted to show you, I haven't stuck this down yet, but you can use the rice paper in the planners as well. So I want to show you a rice paper planner as well, which I'll be working on. So, but today I just wanted to show you how easy that is and how beautiful that looks. It's not stuck down, I've just done it. Just cut it just this minute and how lovely that would look. How magical that looks and I haven't even edged any of it or anything. So I'll be sharing with you, these are already at um, the 15%. So that's all of the Elizabeth Crafts Designs um, products we have in stock. So these are absolutely beautiful. So if you're into journaling, you're into um, planners, you're into art journaling, um, whatever, these are absolutely beautiful. They are gorgeous, really lovely keepsakes, great gifts. So if you wanna just gift this to somebody with a few pieces of planners in their papers, with the rice papers, then this would be ideal. Okay, so we'll be looking at that next week in a little bit more detail with some different papers. So today, what is it all about today? We are going to be doing the clock today. So what I've done is I've chosen a circular clock. I think it's time to start, yeah. I've chosen a circular clock. And what we have here is the rice paper I've chosen, okay? Now, look at the, just, just look how beautiful they are. They're absolutely beautiful. Now, one of the things I say when you're selecting your rice papers is to really look at the designs. Now I'm going to show you a couple of designs just to show you how to work with these designs. So for example, if you choose something like this, you'll be able to see that that does work. So that's really nice. Now as long as you're happy with some of the, the uh, poinsettias being um, off the edge, then that, that works perfect. Our A4s work perfectly with both the square and the circular clock. And as I've mentioned, there is a special kit available today to do this project so now if you're choosing something like this this is where it gets a little bit more difficult because what you're doing now is is you're going to start losing elements and also you're going to get these lines at the side now some people may not want these borders to be like that but it still looks nice but it's just thinking about what you're choosing so you could have a christmas clock you could have a summer clock you could have an autumn clock and again here these words are going to be cut off. Is this what you want to do? This was one of the ones I was going to select today. And I just felt it didn't work for me because it didn't really quite sit how I wanted it to. So I chose not to use it, but you might like that. But I just can't work with this bit here with this paper on, on a round uh, clock face. But say if I'd had a square one, this would work perfectly. Again, I just want to show you a few examples. So if you're trying to find areas, now that doesn't work on this round one. However, it may do, you might like that off center, but this works perfectly on a square one again. So it's just really picking and choosing. I mean, we've got so many rice papers. I mean, this is beautiful. If you like florals, this is an absolutely beautiful part to do, okay? So I'm just showing you, I just wanted to show you a couple. So we've got all different designs, but today I'm going to be working with this one. Okay, let's see where we want to position this. So I'll turn it around to face me so it's a little bit easier for me to see. I also want some crackle going on to this as well. I want, I don't want me, don't want it just to be so that I've stuck a piece of paper, paper down. Okay, so let's see what I where I want to position this so I sort of I like I like the idea that I get most of the flowers in so for me I'm quite happy with this this image here now this is a really lovely image for me to work with so now you anybody who's familiar with using rice paper will will know a lot of these techniques but it's nice to be refreshed so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a small brush and I'm going to take some clean water. Just move my water towards me. And just to make my life easier, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the brush, go around the circle, roughly. There we go, with just clean water. And the reason we do this is because we need to make sure we can tear this paper. Now, you can leave your glass plate, your glass face there, 
and pull away. That's one way of doing it. If that helps you, or you can take the rice paper in your own hands and do it. So I'm just gonna pull this away, holding the rice paper, pulling away, just keeping my hand firmly on the glass. And I find this might be easier for anybody who has problems um, working with it, you know, moving or etc. So I'm just going to turn it around. If you have any, keep everything by the way, if you have any um, problems or any, any um, where you're not finding it's tearing easy, it's because you've not wet it enough. So like here, this is dried already. So what I want to do is quite warm under the lights here is I just want to make sure that I've got this. So it doesn't matter if you tear a little bit extra. It doesn't matter if you tear um, less. We, rice paper is very, very forgiving. And the quality of the Stamperia rice paper is amazing. So there we go. So I've got these two pieces. They, they can stay for another project or they can be used in something else. So we've got a rough outline of where, we, where we're going. It already looks beautiful. Now you could leave it like this and just paint the back and put your mechanism in. However, we want to create a little bit more than that, but I do love it like this, by the way. I think it's a beautiful image. We want to work a little bit more. So what I've decided is, is I want, to, I want to have a little bit of crackle on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush in and I'm going to just randomly create a little creator there so that we can just take this away. Now you can see how easy it is. If you get a fibre, just use your scissors. Because like, for example, here is a great example. Now you can see there, that is actually a fibre. Now I'm not going to be able to tear through that very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and just do a little snip wherever that fibre. Let me show you. I know I can get a really good close up here. And there we go. We just snip that out because that will be the easiest way. Otherwise, what we're doing, we would be pulling and pulling and we will end up tearing more than we need to. So just have a look how you want to do this. There's no right or wrong. So I'm going to put that piece of paper over there as well. So now what I've got is I've got this really lovely, lovely clock. And so now I've got this gap. So I can do other things with this gap, whereas I couldn't when I had it all. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little pop a little bit more. Now, to make this pop more, you need light colours to do that. So let's work with that. So I want some of these areas to be a little bit more pop. So what I tend to do is I tend to take the white primer. That's your easiest way to make these pop a little bit more. So let's get a little brush. So what, so what will happen is just go over your flowers. Also this way you will protect any of your pieces of rice paper that you need to. Okay, so here we go. So all I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit of the white to the back of the rice paper. With glass, you're always working on the back of everything um, to create the really nice shading. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit over here. So I'm just going over the flowers, so you're wondering where I'm going with this. So now you're all able to see, and I hope you can see that. Now can you see how those three flowers have really popped? Whereas the one up here hasn't. Now once I put the colour of the white onto there, then you'll see that pop as well. Now what you want to be sure of is not to use the dark colour behind rice paper because rice paper is translucent. So that's what you have to be careful. Now look at that, that, that pops now. So you've got all of those popping away. I've got, a little bit, I've got a little bud there as well, which I want to whoops, capture as well. So let me just capture that little bud there. Bit there. Um, so we just want to make sure we've got little bits of areas which we're happy with that actually are illuminated a little bit more than the rest of it. So I've got a little bit here that I want to go in with. And it doesn't matter if you're going over the top of your rice papers or, or not. Right, 
So that's our first. First thing is, is you always need to have a light base if you want your rice paper to pop. So that's very, very important um, that you do that. Okay, let me just put this in the water. I think I'll put the water this side, so that's a little bit easier for me. Right, so I'm just going to dry this. <laughs> So what we have now is we have this really lovely piece of rice paper that we've worked on. So just make sure it's not still wet. It's reasonably, primer doesn't take long to dry. So we've got this really nice, I don't know if you can see that now, how they've actually popped. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, is I can still add a little bit of detail to the front. So if I wanted to, I could go in and add a little bit of detail. This is the frost effect paints, which you do get in the kit. I'm just going to take a little bit of the blue and I'm just going to put a little bit of detail into the middle of the, the flowers. Not a lot, just enough for me to know that it's there. So again, this will really pull through on the clock um, when you see it. So it just means you're highlighting bits of it just to make it pop a little bit further if you want to. If you don't, you don't have to. But I really like, again, this is a really nice technique to work with that you can be doing. And it adds a little bit of colour into it, gives you a little bit of more, especially if you're, you're into your painting or your colouring. And this is a really nice way to add a little bit more colour to it. Okay, right, so I'm quite happy with that. So that's added a little bit of that blue. I've also, what I would like to do is now, this is again up to yourselves, I want a little bit of sparkle. Now, the best way, see, roll, oops, um, the best way is, is to use the sparkling gels. Now, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my brush and I'm going to go over and I'm going to add a little bit of sparkling gel. Sparkling gel in silver and gold is translucent. So what I can do is I can add it to my image, use my finger a little bit to smudge it. And what will happen is you'll see it in certain lights. So it's very, very subtle, but you will see it in certain lights. And so when we go to put the rice paper underneath, you will see that this actually really comes through really nicely. So again, I'm just adding it to the centers because I think it adds a little bit more detail to, to the actual image so that you've got that a little bit to the leaves here. So I don't want it to be too much because I don't want to, to have it too sh shiny. But what I do want is I just want a little bit of it to be, have a little bit of a sparkle in there. Okay, so now let me show you that. Hopefully you can see that. Now I've added that to the middle. So now it's making that paper a little bit more uh, 3D. It also means that you're able to now uh, work with that um, to create a much more deeper effect. Now, the way this works is that you're going to put this now down. So before that, do that. I just give it, give it a quick dry. And I just love the way this is looking already. So just adding those few bits of colour has really made that pop. So just adding those few bits of colour has really made that pop. So it just takes it to the next level. Right, now the way to adhere rice paper um, to glass is, make sure the glass is clean for a start, is to actually do it on the reverse. Now it doesn't matter with the clock so much because 
it's the same on both sides but if it was a plate you would want to work on the, the underneath so the thing I'm going to do next is, is I'm going to put the decoupage ceramic so there's a ceramic there's a textile one and there's a matte one all for different different um, purposes so let me just wash my brush because I have a tendency to use my brushes and then find that I've actually got a totally different color that's coming through so if I want to let me just position this so that I know exactly where I'm going with it so this is the thing that you have to be careful so you have to look at where you're going to be having that so for example I'm going to have mine oh, let me do that for you down here okay so if I'm going to have mine down there then I need to be putting this so reverses up the facing what you're going to see through the glasses down and once you've got that you can't go wrong so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to first start off with putting the decoupage medium it's a clear medium so don't worry if you do go over the line or you you carry on or whatever it doesn't matter so what we're going to do is let's see we're just going to put this down now what you could do you could even add the shimmer the sparkling sparkling here if you wanted to and I might do that on the the other side I don't worry if it's not perfect we can always sand the edges off okay so all I'm doing is just using my hands and I'm just flattening that now it's very important that you have the decoupage glue everywhere your paper is because if you don't, it will lift, whether this is on fabric, whether it's on glass, or whether it's on anything else. That's a little bit of excess, I'm just gonna wipe that away. It's very easy to do. So we've still got a little bit over here, so I'm just gonna make sure that I've got that in there. Oops, there we go. So that's stuck down. Now a little bit over here. So you can see very easily what's exactly going on so there we go and again I can wipe that a little bit away so it's not going to make much of a difference now just make sure that wherever you've got it you've managed to get to the edges you've made it really making it sure that it's actually sticking because if it isn't it will start to lift when it dries okay so it's, it's quite easy to do it's not it's not difficult you'll you'll get the get the um, procedure once and then you'll know then always working from the middle work outwards with your decoupage on the top now this is the same for fabrics it's the same for canvas work it's the same for any any rice paper technique okay so what we're doing is, is this is rice paper is very 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 forgiving okay so all we're doing is we're just going over the top with a layer okay now it doesn't matter too much because we're going to go over with some crackler anyway so here we go right now i will show you the other side right so that's enough of the decoupage medium now that's what you need to do that now when i reveal this you'll see see how beautiful that looks now but can you see where i've painted the flowers that's where they're popping and where you see the rest of it you can still see the translucent effect okay so you've got your flowers and then you've got that okay so next thing we're going to do is so don't worry about that Next thing we're going to do is to actually dry this. So that should be that should be fine 
That's the beauty of the Pentart products, that they actually all dry really nicely. Right, so once we've got it to this stage, which I'm happy with, um, I want to go to the next stage. Now, we talked about crackle. We talked about effects. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually going to put some sparkling gel on this side um, so that when I do add the crackle, um, then that will be a really nice effect. Not a lot, but just enough. And not all over either, so I just want to cover the glass bit so that I've got, so when it does come through, it's not going to be a lot, but it will be just enough that I, I really like. So, a little bit more here. So the light will catch it, even though it looks very subtle at the moment. Okay, so the next step, dry again. And this is where we're going to use the universal primer and the crackle paste. So very, a lot of you will already have this, but great products. So start off with the universal primer. This is a two part. We do a one part with Stamperia. Um, both great products. So this is my, my preferred. So all I'm doing is I'm just going over and I'm going to go over the whole clock with the crackle. Now you could just leave it in one place and then you could just paint the back. But I want to, and it doesn't matter which way you paint it by the way, um, the crackle. It's not one of those crackles where you have to say, oh I've got to do it in this direction to get the effects. Now the primer you just need like you would be putting in a, a layer of glue. So you just go in, I'm using quite a small brush but doesn't matter and you don't want a lot so you just want to uh, enough to coat it just like as if you were if you were putting glue onto something do some on the edges there we go do you know I miss my family I had to color my own hair because my sister always does it for me she's called Pingo Parlor that's what we'd like to call her. Um, so it's the first time in six months I've coloured my hair by myself. So it's been a long time. So do you know what? It's so hard. <laughs> but I got there in the end. So that is just the primer going down. Just to give you, just make sure you've got it to the edges here. So it should be okay. I think everything's working okay. Paul's going to let me know, I'm sure, if it isn't. Um, so it's all good, he says. It's got his little, little, little audio uh, head on today. Um, he looks so professional. So I'm just going to dry this again. Okay, so that should be enough. So you can see that I've still got a few bits there, but that's fine. Now you have a couple of options. You can either put the crackle paste on with a brush or you can put it on with a palette knife. It really is up to yourselves. Now this is where it makes, I'm just going to use a palette knife. This is where it makes the difference um, of how thick the cracks are or how thin the cracks are. So let's start and I sort of want it to be quite thin because I just want I don't want them to be too thick, so I'm just putting a really thin layer on. 
um, on this side. So let me just put this on. And I'm going over all of it because even though you think you won't see the cracks um, through the um, bits where we've already got the rice paper, you will be surprised that you, because of where it is still translucent, not where I've already painted it, you will see the cracks. I hope anyway. <laughs> So all I'm doing is using my palette knife and I'm just coming in. It's so nice, this, this um, Penta um, Crackle paste and primer. I mean, do you know what? You'll see it crack before your eyes. So I've got so, so we don't need a lot. It looks like I'm putting a lot on. Just keep lifting it as you put it on. Don't worry if you go over the sides because we're going to sand everything down anyway on the sides just to finish it off. Again, take it to the edge if you want to, just to give you those. So I'm lifting it quite a lot already. Um, I'm going in. Um, but if you, like I say, the thicker, the thicker you put it on, the thicker the cracks will be. So you'll see it start to crack even before I finish actually, uh, probably. So just wanted to make sure I've got some over here because I don't want to leave any of it just blank and I quite like this technique I, I think it's a really nice technique it's different to what we usually do in terms of we either cover it or we do it all over so this is slightly different there we go so I'm just going to fill these bits in as well so it's so so forgiving I'm not trying to get it perfect I'm not trying to do it, it's just it's just a technique. And each time you do it, you'll see a different different result. So I just want a bit more on this edge because I know that I've got much less on this edge here. So again, very, very easy to do, no trouble at all. So just gonna put the make sure you put your palette knife in water, make sure you screw all your lids on really tightly, because that's where we usually go wrong. I'm just gonna wipe it through. My dad is the best to keep palette knives clean. He is amazing. I'm not, but he's very good at it. So, now you'll start to see it crack already on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun to it and watch this crackle. Can you see it go? Look at that. It is absolutely magical. Let me show you already. Okay, that should be fine. So, look at that. Whoa, hey, that's crackle. If you turn it over, just have a peeky boo. <laughs> uh oh, look at that so far. It's looking amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful. Right, so the next step and I will sand it all down on the edges, is where we bring in the frost effects. This is why you get a frost effect in your kit. And the best way for me to do it, you could use your fingers or just use a, I'm gonna use a quite a harder brush so that I can actually get into the cracks. And what I tend to do is I just start on the middle and I start to push that through to all the cracks. And I'll turn that over just to show you. Just make sure your crackle is actually dry because then you will be running into a few problems if it's not. Right, let's have a look. I'll show you the middle now. Now, can you see that where the blue's taken? You can see that there, can't you? And on the rice paper. 
So it's going to look so beautiful when I've finished. Now you get all of these elements in your kit. And we will be doing this as the blue kit um, on this occasion. But if you want something different, you need to let me know or Paul know. So all I'm doing is you don't need a lot. Just keep going around in circles, getting yourself with a brush, you know, a rougher brush, something that you're about to throw away probably. That will really help you get your into those little um, grooves. And again, this just gives you a really lovely, lovely, lovely finish um, to the, the actual front. So a little bit more here. So it goes a long, long way. This is the same blue we used to, to decorate the flowers in the front. So there we go. Just going through it. Um, and this is going to go through all the cracks, so you're going to see it's really lovely. It's really strange because you're working on the reverse. So you're looking at it as a project and thinking, oh my God, what is she doing if you've just joined me? Um, well, I'm doing a clock face. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of you have seen these techniques, but you know what? The amount of times we've got customers saying, oh, I haven't seen it or I've forgotten about it or I can't find the video. So this is for you all out there and all those um, experts who can take hopefully a few techniques away from this as well by using the different effects. So I think I'm happy with that now. I'll turn it over just to have a once over before I wash my brush. Put the, oh, put the lid back on, that would be good. Okay, now you can, we do frost effect in many colours. So, so that's what it looks like from the back. Nothing much to write home about, I have to add. But look at the front. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So we need to clean it up a little bit because we've got a few bits going on here. Um, and again, if you wanted to, you could come in and then you could bring a gold in or a brassy gold. And if you've missed anywhere, what you can start to do, this is just an option, is you can go in and if you've missed anywhere, you can just break that up as well. So let's say if we do that in the middle bit here a bit more, because we're gonna paint over all the back, so don't worry about that. So again, what will happen is, is if you've got any cracks which are still, still not filled, they will get filled with the gold, okay? So you can just see, oh, isn't that beautiful? It's so beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so the next step is, we're nearly there, the next step is to actually take a sanding block and sand the sides, okay? I'll show you how to do that. So what I do is, is sand, really what you're trying to do is sand downwards, yeah? Now you can do this now, or you could do it at the end end. I'm just going to do it now, just so that we've got a nice neat edge to work with. And see if there's anything that needs to be stuck down any further. So all you're doing is holding it and then pressing downwards away from the direction of the rice paper being stuck down. And obviously if you haven't adhered your rice paper to the edge, you don't need to do this. So it's only if you've done as long as you're always working away from the, the actual back, you'll be fine. It won't come off. And if it does, just use a little bit of your decoupage medium and stick it on. Just make sure it is dry. Okay, so that is very, very important. Because if it isn't dry, it will come off and you'll, <laughs> you'll get little bits of crackle coming off. You'll get bits of the rice paper coming off. So just neaten that up. Takes a little bit of time to do this bit, but don't. But this is what's going to make it finished. I'm just talking about finished. I haven't. Don't think I've got my gold wax here. Now that's another finishing touch. If you wanted to add to it, you could add the gold wax. So there we go. All right. So I'm just going to take the edges off there. 
I shouldn't have it anywhere now. And if you see that you've got anything that you're not happy with, just go back in again. Okay, so we've got most of that done. I might ask you to grab me the gold wax, Paul. Yeah, just a little one. Okay. You're okay. Yep. Paul's hurt his back. So he's walking like a little invalid, bless his cotton socks. Like an old man, he says. I didn't say that, but he did. So I've got a little bit there, look, it's lifting. So as I mentioned, go back in. It's probably because I've pushed it away. Go back in, get your brush. Now the wax is optional. Um, I know a lot of you already have the wax. So all I'm doing is I'm just sticking that back down again. You see? And it's as easy as that, but it's good that you just check all your edges and make sure you're happy with all your edges. Because if you're not, it will lift. Okay? So that's something that you need to do. So there we go. I'm going to put this in the bin. Otherwise it's just going to pick up on my clock. A bit organised, gosh. So that's where we're... Oh, let me hold it the right way. That's where we're at. Um, so it looks absolutely beautiful. And again, depending on what you've used in the back, it's where it's still wet. So I need to just dry that because I'm lifting it already with my fingers. Now, the back is really up to yourselves how you want to do that. Now, you could leave it. You could put a piece of fabric behind it. Or you could just paint it. So, I'm going to... I'm. I might paint mine in as Decor Soft, but we do give you an acrylic, so you can choose which one, but I'm just going to use the Decor Soft today to do it. So what I'm going to do is get my little brush again. I'm using the little brush. I don't know why I'm using the little brush. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over it. It's just more to give you a finish that you're happy with and the edge. So it could be a metallic, it could be... It could be any of those, so it really is just to give you. And do you know what? I'm going to do mine quite lightly because I quite like the idea of seeing the cracks on the back still. I like the idea of the little bit of blue coming through. Um, and again, you could do this with the metallics. You could do this with the, the uh, decor softs. It really is up to yourselves what you put on the back. We do give you in the kit an acrylic paint. That will match the rice paper that you have so you'll always get a kit which has been selected by myself just to make sure that you get the right colors and that you can work with it okay so i'm quite happy with the way this is all coming out now and i'm just finishing the edges off here there we go so again you if you feel you want to go over it again everybody is different but i quite like the fact that it is handmade it's a lovely gift it's really really nice to so you can use the same technique to do your coasters the same technique to do your plates so there we go so i'm just going through it and i'll probably finish this off with another layer once it's dried um just to give me a really nice nice effect Okay, so that just gives you a really nice background to the clock as well. So it gives you a really nice sort of darker blues, shaded. This will not affect your front image because now you've already done that. You've already set your front image to be what it is. And that's something to bear in mind when you're working with glass especially. Okay, so let's give that a quick blast. Now, I'm not going to put the mechanism in. Okay, so that's the, the back now. So I'm really happy with this. So basically, you do need to find yourself 
Let me see, a pokey tool, that would help. To poke through your bit in the middle. So just make sure that you're poking this to the back, I find, so that your mechanism can actually now be housed in that. Okay, so that's all you need to do. Your mechanism will cover all that workings as well. So what that does now is you've got to this stage. So now this, at this point, we would put the mechanism in. In the kit, you get the glass face of the clock. You get the rice paper. You get the decoupage medium to stick the rice paper with. You get the crackle paste and crackle primer. You get the frost effect paint. You also get a acrylic to paint the back. Um, so really you've got your whole kit there. So all your mechanism, all your hands will all be provided to you in the kit. Now, now what I want to do is, and this isn't an optional, is I just want to finish off the edges on this. And what I find is, it's really nice is to use any of the waxes that we sell, whatever colour you want to go. I'm going to go with a bit of gold because I added a bit of gold to the, the front. And what this will do is just bring it to that next level. And I'll show you what I mean. So now, look, can you see it's just going to be that really nice finish. So I'm just going to go around this. If you feel there's any way that you're still finding it's lifted or it's um, not quite right, then just go in and then just make sure you've done that. So, so that's everything that I wanted to show you today on the rise post. If you've got any questions, just PM me or write it in the Facebook. If there's something that you're looking for you can't find, let us know. It's all on Dali Art Market. All the products are there. I have put a link into the Facebook from this morning and we will be putting it onto YouTube with all the links as well. So hopefully this will show you um, exactly how this looks. Hopefully you can see that now and that's all done. Ignore my, ignore my hands. I think my camera just went off for a second. <laughs> there we go. So that is the clock face. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Oh look, Paul's doing me a picture in picture now, which is brilliant. Um, so you can just see the, the detail there. So hopefully next week you might even be able to see me and see the, the clock and everything else I'm doing. I don't know if I want you to see me, all those wrinkles. So I'm really pleased with that, the way that's come out. And make a lovely gift for somebody but it's also a really nice nice project to do with your family and friends um let me just move this up Ooh, there we are my little wrinkles so i'm really 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 happy that i've managed to show and share this with you today and next week as i mentioned i'll be doing some things with a planner with the you make me happy pad and dream of the magical things so I hope you can join me. I'll be showing you some more techniques and I will post this also on the Facebook as well. All right, then you take care. Have a lovely day and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye for now. Oops, I dropped that a bit fast. Have you switched us off? <laughs>